Good morning to one and all. Welcome to this online session of Tadvitya Sambhasha Parishad. I am uh, Dr. Sharani Sanu and today I am going to discuss on the concept of Rakta Dhatu. Yes, in this session we will be discussing about the etymology of Rakta, the term Rakta, then synonyms of Rakta, Rakta as Srotas, Rakta as Ashraya, Rakta as Ashraya, Panchabhautika components of Rakta Dhatu, then qualities of Shuddha Rakta, okay? Then quantity, what is the pramana of Rakta, what are the functions of Rakta, then pathophysiology, Vriddhi and Kshaya, its karanas and the lakshanas of rakta dhatu, vridhi and kshaya. Then rakta javikaras, what we see in rakta javikaras, importance of rakta dhatu, modern correlation of rakta dhatu, and then general line of treatment. Okay. So we start with the first one that is etymology of the word rakta. Okay. It is Raga Varna Krat Chadhatu Raktam. I repeat Raga Varna Krat Chadhatu Raktam means the Dhatu which has the capacity to color itself and give coloration to other tissues also. Okay. In the functions of Rakta we see it is responsible for coloration of skin, normal coloration of skin. Okay. This shows that the normal coloration of other dhatus is also maintained by rakta. Okay, how, why this will be seeing in its functions. Okay, so this is the etymology saying raga varna cha dhatu raktam. Synonyms, when we see the synonyms, it is said rudiram, shonitam, shatajam, asra, asra, lohitam. All are the synonyms of Rakta Dhatu. Okay. Lohitam because it is nourished with Loha. It is enriched with the Loha. Okay. Asrak because of its functions. It is also called as Rudiram. Yes. Shonita Vahanam Srotasam Yakrat Moolam Pihascha. Okay. It is clearly explained that the Srotas of Rakta Vaha Srotas has its Moola in Yakrit and Pliha. Okay. Sushrita further defines as Raktavaha Dve Tayomulam Yakrita Pliha Raktavahinya Shadhamanya. Here he wants to highlight the importance of Yakrita Pliha, very true, but Raktavahinya Shadhamanyas, which are further nourishing the Rakta. Okay. And hence these are the Mula of the Raktavaha Strotas. So, it is very important to say that Rakta Vahinyas is an additional thing which is told by Sushruta Samhita. Okay. Coming to Ashaya. Rakta has its Ashaya in Yakrita and Pliha. Okay. These are called as Rakta Ashayas. That means these have a special capacity to store the Rakta. Yes. And Chakrapani in his commentary further says, Rudaya is also a Vishesha Stana of Rakta because to some extent the Rakta for a few seconds is stored and then circulated throughout the body. So Chakrapani's commentary is, Rudaya is also a Vishesha Stana of Rakta. But it has nothing to do with the Moola of the uh, Shonitavaha Strotas. Okay. Then very important point is, Pancha Maha Bhautikatva of Rakta. Yes. So it is said Visram Dravam Ragam Spandanam Laguta. Okay. Visram is the quality related to the Prithvi Mahabhuta. Okay. Visra is a quality related to Prithvi Mahabhuta. This can be your MCQ questions. So you can put a star mark for this. Drava is a quality related to Apa Mahabhuta. There is a lot of liquidity in this uh, blood 
which is correlated to the Apa Mahabhuta. Raga is the quality that is coloration. Okay, a bright coloration is correlated to the Agni Mahabhuta. Spandana. Okay, the capacity of giving pressure and moving ahead. Okay, with lot of force it moves ahead. This is a quality of Vayu Mahabhuta through which the circulation occurs. Laguta, okay, it has the capacity of Laguta because of which it can move into very minute pose also. So, this is the capacity of Akasha Mahabhuta. So, the Rakta Dhatu is a composition of all the Mahabhutas. It can be your theory question also, but more about a MCQ type of question. Fine. Then, qualities of Shuddha Rakta. What are the qualities of Shuddha Rakta? Okay. So he says, Tapanendriya Gopabam Padmalaktaka Sannibam Gunjapala Samarnamcha Vishuddha Shviddha Shonitam. That means, whenever there is injury, okay, the rakta which oozes out is Tapanendriya Gopabam. Indra Gopa is a type of insect. Okay. Whenever at the end of the summer season and just suddenly the rainfall occurs, from the earth there is said to be an ins uh, insect which comes out. Okay, which is red in color. This insect is like uh, red in color, similar to that of Rakta. And then Padma Laktaka Sannibam. It is like a lotus flower which is red in color. Gunja Fala. You must have seen the seeds of a Gunja plant. So, this is also reddish black seeds will be there. So, this Gunja Fala, the reddish color Varna, is the Varna of the Rakta. And Tapana Swarna, Tapana Swarna means whenever the gold is heated to red hot, okay. So, this red is, is the normal coloration of Rakta whenever the Rakta oozes out, okay. Further, Sharangadhara adds to the qualities of Rakta. He says, Snigdha, Guru, Vala, Swadha, Vidagdha and Pittavat. Okay, it is loaded with Pittavat and it is Vidagda, Swadu, Bala, Guru, Snigda are the qualities of the uh, Rakta according to Sharangadar Samhita. Here you can highlight uh, the Swadu and Vidagda Vat as an extra contribution. Then Sushruta gives a beautiful concept saying that a Samhatam, a Samhatam means there is no blood coagulation seen. Okay. Whenever the blood is circulating, okay, it should not have clots, blood clots. That is the quality of Shuddha Rakta along with Indra Gopa and other qualities, okay. And Avivarnam, Avivarnam means it should not be of Harita color, it should not be greenish, it should not be uh, brown, brown or blackish in color. So that shows that uh, the Rakta is not pure and it is overloaded with the carbon dioxide, okay. And then... Ashtanga Sangraha says it is Dautamcha Virajati. This blood, if immediately washed, it should not stain any of the clothes. That means this is a pure Rakta. Okay. And when we see the Pramanas of the Rakta Dhatu, it is the Pramana that is the quantity is 8 Anjali's. Okay. According to Charaka Samhita, he says it is 8 Anjali's is the normal quantity of Rakta Dhatu. Okay. Then coming to the functions. What are the functions of uh, Rakta Dhatu? When we see the functions, the main function is Jeevana. Okay. In Rasa Dhatu, we have seen the main functions as Prinanam. Prinanam means what? Whatever dietary nutrition you have taken, these nutrients are carried to various tissues for their transformation and maintenance is the function of Rasa Dhatu. Fine. But Rakta Dhatu is involved in Jeevana. Jeevana here means transportation of vital gases to the cells for their maintenance and their body functions, mainly oxidation and other uh, enzyme productions and other main functions are dependent on oxygen. So supplying this oxygen is the main function of Rakta Dhatu and hence called as Jeevanam. And again further Hemadri comments on Jeevana as Jeevanam cha Pranadharana. If there is Jeevana function then only there is Pranadharana otherwise it is very difficult hence it is very very important. Rakta Dhatu becomes very very important. Then 
तद विशुद्धम ही रुद्रम बल वर्ण सुख आयुषाम दिस इज द अनदर फंक्शन एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय चरक संहिता इन सूत्रस्थान चैप्टर 24 बाय 4 ही सेस तद विशुद्धम ही रुद्रम बल वर्ण सुख आयुषा युक्ति प्राणानाम प्राण शोणितम ही अनुवर्तते दैट मींस द विशुद्ध रक्त हैज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ गिविंग स्ट्रेंथ to the organs as well as giving uh, the varna proper coloration and hence maintenance of sukha ayusha okay if you you must have observed whenever you tie a rubber band to your fingertip it becomes totally blue after some time and later there is loss of sensation also to that side and if this further continues then the part may have lack of blood supply because of which there can be death of the cells and hence it may lead move into necrosis also similarly when you compare and analyze all these functions see the sparsha gnana the coloration of that particular part the nourishment with all the uh, gases etc is the main function of blood okay raktam varna prasadam mamsa pushtim cha okay whenever we see the main functions of rakta it not only nourishes rakta and other dhatus but it has the main function of producing the next dhatu that is the mamsa vaha dhatu okay then the another function explained by sushruta samhita dhatunam puranam varnam sparsha gnanam asamshayam swasira sanchara raktam kurya chanyan gunan api that means these are some of the extra points added by sushruta in the functions he says dhatuna puranam it enters into other dhatus and leads to nourishment that is the jivana or function is conducted varna of not only that dhatu overall body uh, varna then sparsha gnana sensation to that uh, part okay and then it moves in swasiras and it has the qualities of gunanupi that means if pitta is getting vriddhi then pitta qualities are exhibited in rakta if vata is getting vriddhi then vata qualities are exhibited in rakta so such capacity of exhibiting the vriddhi factor factors or the prakopa factors is the quality of rakta then importance is formation of rakta dhatu as we have seen the ahara taken is acted by jatragni this leads to the formation of the rasa dhatu okay the rasa dhatu formed divides itself into prasada bhaga and kitta bhaga the prasada bhaga again further divides into sthayi dhatu and asthayi dhatu the asthayi dhatu further div, uh, divides into upadhatu and uh, nourishment of the next dhatu right so this next dhatu that is the rakta uh, rakta poshaka amsha of the rasa moves to yakrit and kliha and leads to the production of the rakta dhatu yes this is how in sequence the rakta dhatu is produced okay and uh, what happens whenever there is vriddhi or kshaya of rakta okay so when rakta pushti or rakta vriddhi gunas are taken in the ahara so what are the rakta gunas snigdha ati snigdha ahara ati ushna ahara ati vidagdha ahara okay अति लवण अति अम्ल युक्त आहार इफ ऑल दीज आर एन अति योग देन दिस लीड्स टू रक्त वृद्धि इट मे बी इधर द्रवता वृद्धि इट मे बी इवन विस्तृता वृद्धि इट मे बी इवन उष्णता वृद्धि वॉट एवर आर दि रक्त गुणास दिस अंश अंश वृद्धि टेक्स प्लेस एंड दिस लीड्स टू ओवरऑल वृद्धि ऑफ दि रक्त धातु एंड इफ सच वृद्धि इज देर देर इज रक्तम रक्तांग रक्त अंशिता सिरा पूर्ण च ओके इट इज सेड रक्तम रक्तांशिता सिरा पूर्ण च दिस मीन्स वेन एवर देर इज रक्त धातु वृद्धि देर इज टोटल रेडिश कलरेशन ऑफ आईज एंड देर इज सिरा पूर्ण च हाउ कैन वी को रिलेटेड क्लिनिकली now whenever you get a hypertensive patient what is the main pathophysiology in hypertension there is either spandana vriddhi that is vayu mahabhuta vriddhi is taking place or there is dravata vriddhi because there is no proper uh, urination or the fluid of the body is not going out because of which you give diuretics yes and if the person fails to take diuretics that means there is dravata vriddhi in the circulation 
ओके सो इधर इट इज द्रवता वृद्धि और लघुता वृद्धि और दी स्पंदन वृद्धि विच लीड्स टू दी हाइपर टेंशन दट इज इंक्रीज ब्लड प्रेशर इफ वी कंसिडर दिस कंडीशन एज दी रक्त धातु वृद्धि हियर देर आर थ्री थिंग्स विच आर इंक्रीज वन इज द्रवता वृद्धि वन इज स्पंदन वृद्धि एंड वन इज लघुता वृद्धि because of which there is increased blood pressure and in blood pressure increased you will see there is reddish capillaries in the eye region there can be reddish uh, there can be some bleeding in the brain or some other region of uh, your body such lakshanas will be seen in rakta vriddhi along with this he says sira puranatvam cha okay in conditions of very cold veins you can see because of ati davata vriddhi in the veins uh, in the blood okay the veins have failed have veins valves have been failed because of which the back pressure of the vein to be exerted on the blood through which the blood can be pushed back into the circulation is lost yes because of which the blood gets settled inside the veins itself so there is Uh, what triangulation of uh, the veins formed the collections of veins are formed in case of varicose veins so this is excessive sira puranatvam can be seen in case of rakta vriddhi and even in case of uh, rakta pitta you can see because of arm blocked in the rakta vaha strothis uh, there is dravata vriddhi in the rakta due to pitta prakopa and this dravata vriddhi leads to break open of the uh, minute veins may be at your little area or any other area especially in little area and leads to rakta pitta sort of conditions where pitta, pitta vriddhi and rakta vriddhi are seen okay and uh, then coming to rakta kshaya what happens in rakta kshaya it may be because of malnourishment it may be because of ati chinta it may be because of armor getting blocked into the strothis because of which the quantity and quality of rakta is not produced and the jivana function is not seen so what are the uh, signs uh, seen in um, rakta kshaya so people those who are having less quality of rakta will have amla shishira preeti amla means they are uh, fond of more as uh, amla that is uh, uh sour food okay they exhibit they are like for too much of pani puri sort of khatta meetha sort of things and uh, they may like even fruits which are uh, said to be bit uh, amla shishira cold items like ice creams so such things may give them satisfaction so uh, especially when they were the quantity of rakta is decreased and sira shaitilyam cha sira shaitilyam means there is weakness of the veins and the capillaries which leads to easy bleeding okay so such can be seen in case of uh, rakta kshaya now it's very very important to maintain the rakta dhatu in the body because dehasya rudiram moolam rudiran neva dharayet tasmat yatnena sanraksham raktam jeeva iti stiti this is clearly explained by sushruta samhita if your rakta is maintained properly then your other dhatus will be maintained properly if you fail to maintain and preserve your rakta dhatu that means further nourishment of other dhatus will be very risky then coming to the general line of treatment which can be adopted in case of rakta dhatu first of all it's very important to know the amsha amsha kalpana in rakta dhatu treatment okay especially in vriddhi okay it may be because of atapa sevana or ushna uh, uh, immediately after atapa sevana you are doing shita jala paana okay it may be viruddha aharas so such uh, what viharas and aharas have been explained for rakta dhatu vriddhi and kshaya in a rakta pitta nidana okay so whenever such things are followed there is ama produced okay which blocks the rakta vaha strothis and this further leads to either the arm sam rakta dhatu production okay which may cause even dravata vriddhi or even spandana vriddhi or guru lakshanas vriddhi in the rakta which can lead to any rakta vriddhi kara lakshanas so here pitta shita arm pachana is the first line of treatment okay after arm pachana you know, this can be followed by virechana 
ओके विरेचना इज अ लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट अडॉप्टेड इन दी रक्तवाह स्रोत दृष्टि ओके इट दिस गिव्स अ वेरी गुड रिजल्ट्स आफ्टर विरेचना यू कैन गिव एनी रसायनस विरेचना फॉलोड बाय समसर्जन कर्म एंड लेटर एनी रसायनस कैन बी गिवन फॉर दी तर्पण एंड पोषण ऑफ दी रक्त धातु देन कमिंग टू इफ देर इज लॉट ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑफ अशुद्ध रक्त देन रक्त मोक्षण एंड सिरा व्यध इज एडवाइज इट मे यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन यकृतोदर इन प्ली होदर देर इज अ क्लियर लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सिरा व्यध सिरा व्यध एक्सप्लेन स्पेशली इन द दक्षिण सिरा दट इज द राइट राइट हैंड ब्रेकियल वेन ओके विच एवर इज पाल्पेबल दैट सिरा व्यधना कैन बी डन टू रिड्यूस द प्रेशर टू रिड्यूस द द्रवता ऑफ द रक्त इन द body and then if there is raktakshaya then again seeing at uh, there is ama or nirama lakshana the ama has to be treated with uh, whatever uh, chikitsa that is mrudu virechana with the uh, aragvada aragvada the kashaya can be adopted along with this uh, after virechana when you get nirama lakshanas you can start with uh, the rakta vardaka dravyas like uh, punarnava mandura dhatri loha loha asava such uh, beautiful uh, medicine has been explained in rakta shaya along with rakta vriddhi kara ahara vihara can be adopted to these people okay then coming to rakta pradoshaja vikaras when we see the rakta pradoshika vikaras whenever there is long time uh, a disturbed vriddhi or kshaya of the rakta dhatu it leads to the rakta pradoshaja vikaras like kushta visarp pigidika rakta pitta asragdaraha that is rakta pradara then uh, guda medra asya paaka that is inflammation in the oral region okay it may be glossitis okay then may there may be even uh, inflammation in uh, pliha gulma then vidradi abscess formation abscess in the liver abscess in your uh, any part of the body then nilika nilika is a bluish discoloration kamala is again jaundice okay where uh, tapta pitta vitiates the rakta burns the rakta dhatu to produce kamala vyangaha vyangaha is a pigmentation developed on your uh, cheek region cheeks and then there is piplava tilakalaka dadru 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 charmadala shvitra pama kota asramandala all these are said to be as different skin disorders seen in case of the rakta dushti this is because proper quality of rakta is lost and this leads to uh, ashraya for different skin infections which leads to skin disorders okay so these are some of the uh, uh, vikaras which are seen in rakta pradosha and then when you see the modern correlation of rakta it can be correlated to blood okay so what is blood blood is a connective tissue which is made up of plasma and uh, many blood cells okay along with the blood plasma and cells there are some more components like there are gaseous components there are some solid components okay and there are some uh, waste made waste debris collected from the cells which are also circulating in this blood so what are the constituent units of uh, blood it may be water it is the main constituent uh, unit along with that there is inorganic uh, constituents like sodium potassium calcium iron copper phosphor and uh, there can be there are some uh, plasma proteins like albumin globulin fibrinogen which are produced at the level of liver and there are nutrients like glucose fats amino acids vitamins hormones which are circulating in the blood there are cellular components like the red blood cells white blood cells platelets moving the cells having their uh, main functions okay so what is the main function of blood the main function of blood is first of all transport of oxygen okay and taking out carbon dioxide from the tissue level and the cellular level out from the lungs this is the main function of blood then transport of glucose fats amino acids to the respective places transport of hormones from the site of production to the site of actions transport of vitamins to the site of actions then uh, waste waste materials of the body is carried 
and later thrown out of the body is another function of the blood blood maintains the temperature of the body but blood maintains the acid balance uh, acid alkaline uh, acid base equilibrium in the body so these are the different functions of blood okay we will be seeing the blood and its physiology in detail when we enter into the blood physiology okay so this is something about uh, rakta dhatu uh, i think in my next class i will be speaking about mamsa dhatu thank you